Hi guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel. Uh, we are doing our transformation series. Um, we've got Joe in the chair. Hello, Joe. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, good, mate. So what are you thinking today? What's the plans? Um, I was thinking of skin fade. Okay. And then textured crop. Yeah, yeah, sound, yeah. Cool, nice. That was the plan. Yeah, nice transformation that made that look good, <laughs> that. So how short would you be willing to go on the crop? How short do you want to take the top? Um, I want to keep the top quite long. Okay, yeah. Fringe on it to be not too short, but not too long. Yeah, just like an in between. All right, yeah, cool. Well, let's have a look at your hairline. So, okay, yeah. So you got a good strong hairline. Yeah. So I think if we took that to say maybe halfway, it would yeah. be quite nice. So you're still keeping some fringe in there. It's not hanging over your eyebrows, yeah. but then that way we can get away with leaving a bit more length through the top yeah. and having a really quite a solid texture kind of coming yeah. through here. Really nice contrast as well with the back and sides. So yeah. I think it'll be good. In terms of the style, I mean, you you tend to take quite a bit of time styling here. Will you will you commit time to it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because th yeah. this one you want to style it quite heavily. Okay. So it, it, things like anything like creative, like a, like a crop or something, doesn't look great sometimes. That product in it can look a bit kind of blunt and things like that. So what I would suggest, if you're not big on styling it too much, I'll create a lot of texture in there that works quite well. But I think maybe. More than going for like quite a blunt fringe, why don't we do quite a textured fringe? I think that'll work quite well, because if you're not going to style it heavily all the time, I want it to look good without, you know? I don't want it to look like blunt and quite, yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Not, not, a creative haircut doesn't always look good when, without product in. So I think that'd be quite nice, that. Um, and then we'll just put loads of texture. You've got lovely straight hair, thick hair as well, so it's good for this look. You've picked the, I think you've picked a good look for this. And I, w I wouldn't really suggest anything else. I think you know what you want, I think it will work. So I think we'll give it a go. Um, skin fade wise, I'd. We're keeping the top a bit longer, I'll probably keep the blend a bit lower. Um, we'll stretch it out though, so we'll keep the skin fade from maybe like temple low, and then we'll stretch it nice and high up through the top. So we're mainly working from like a one, and a half, a one into a half with the skin fade down the bottom. It, it, it stretches it out to keep that kind of squareness through the haircut as well. All right, sweet. All right, we'll give it a wash, condition, and then uh, we'll get started. Cool. cool. Did you see one of the videos we've done it on? Did you, yeah? Cool. Well, this will be, this will be very similar to the first one that we did, the ginger, the ginger guy, Luke. But what will be nice is that we'll break the fringe a lot more feathered because you got your hair is very similar, it's not as thick though. So I think we break the fringe a bit more, it'll look quite nice. Right, so just shampooed and conditioned Joe's hair. Now, I'm going to start by cutting the fringe in first, okay? So the fringe is going to be the integral part of this look, apart from obviously the skin fade and stuff, but this is the look that this is the, the base that we're going to start from, okay? I'm going to work a section just from the back here, what we call a T section. The T, I, I was obviously, T section is the letter T across the top of the head. And what you can do from the back, See your guide and work that down to the front like that. Okay. Now, like we said, we're going to have it so it's sort of sitting just about here. It'd be nice, but I want to make it really feathered. So I'm going to use the razor for this. Now that, that way it'll just sit it very naturally. It won't be as blunt as like some of the other ones have done, which I think will be quite nice. I think with Joe's hair being so straight, I think it'd be nice to kind of have that little bit more feathering done through there as well. Yeah. Section over like that. Same again the other side. Clip that back as well. I mean, pick the length that we want somewhere. Put it there for when it dries, it goes a bit higher up. Just using the razor, work it through just to cut it. Make it sit like that, okay? And what we're trying to do is we want to build up weight towards the recession point here. So you want this to be straight through the front. So we're going to bring this and over direct the corner to match the middle. Just pull it straight down and just use the razor above it. Matching up that other side there, work it through. But Joe's picked this hairstyle, he doesn't have a cow's lick or anything at the front, so it works really, really well. It's going to sit nice and forward, which is what we want. So we've done this one before that we did on a, on a guy called Lloyd. Here I use our skateboarder guy. Now he had a cow's lick, so we had to leave a lot of weight. We went quite short to then create a lot of weight above it, which the good thing is with Joe's, you don't need to do that too much. So we can just cut it as, as we want to, but obviously then work the weight above it. Now, just cut the primary cut with the razor. I'm just gonna finish up with the scissor. And I'm gonna start cutting this in a bit now while we're here. And start to break that up, because the majority of the length will be what we've just done with the razor. But I wanna break this up a little bit as well now. To break it up. But again, we can still see what the length's gonna be like. just helps to break it up. It's nice to do it now while the, this part is isolated from the rest. There we go, so we've got some little bit shorter. As I'm gonna see as you see as it's drying now as well, it's starting to sit a bit higher up as well. So I'm gonna take another small section, bring it forward, 
I'm going to write that down, put my guide underneath, there we go. And I'll point cut into that. Bring it nice and forward so my fingers are staying level. Cut that in. So we put the base in with the razor, and now we're starting to create that a bit more choppiness too with the scissor. I'm going to point cut into this. Quite a solid angle as well, so it becomes quite choppy. And just freehand. There we go. Cut this in. Also keeping that nice strong through there as well. So where that fringe is, that's where our blend's gonna start there. Okay, so that way it all blends in with the fringe. There we go. Section down the middle. So bring it forward towards me. There you see where the weight is sitting heavier there. I'm gonna cut into that as well, just to break that fringe up. And that'll start to create that nice choppy finish. Now what we do is just perfect the ends and we start to work through the top. Slide through a little bit as well to break it up. Bring that all forward. Point cut to match the fringe. So we're getting a much more choppier finish that then. Now, starting from the back where the section was, we'll take some length off as well. So we're gonna pick it up and we'll remove about that. And that'll work really well for this look. Harsh, cutting through as well. Okay, like that. I want this to be super, super choppy. So cutting in at such a sharp angle will create a lot more choppiness as it lies flat. And as we get to this apex now, the very middle of the head, we're going to start to angle this hair backwards after this section. So again, we're looking to build weight to the front. And we pull it back to the last section. So by the time we get down to the front, there should be nothing to cut off. There we go. So that way we've done. We've laid a heavier fringe there. But we've created a bit more shortness through here. But as you start to style it, you can already see it now. The movement that's coming through there. Just by flicking your fingers across like that. It's gonna move, so imagine product, and that's not even textured, so imagine a bit of product in there. And cut some match, we're gonna leave that little slight corner in there as well. I'm gonna start to bring this straight up, and the last one coming back now. Nothing to cut. Using the guy from the right hand side. The point when we have nothing left to cut. There we go. Now what we'll do, Cut the transition line in now to where the clippers work. So again, it's gonna match, match up to the fringe, just here. Pull the fringe down, so we've got a bit of a guide from that side as well. So I want that to sit level with the fringe. There's my finger, it's laying level with the fringe. And it starts to dictate the squareness and the head shape now as well, but also gives me a, a good place to start my transition from the skin fade. Just pull a section underneath, give a clearer line, there we go. So that is going to be where the square shape sits in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a section above it, vertically, I'm going to pull this out and cut in there. So again, we're keeping that shape coming through. Staying in mind with that nice chunky texture. Using our guide from the top, underneath, and that in. So we've got a nice bit of corner, we have a nice squareness in there, and then we've got a little line where we need to blend our skin fade into. Same thing this side. Bring that down, it's gonna be level with the fringe. Gonna match up either side. Then another section above. Work in to our guide. There we go. That's starting to sit in now. So we've got our nice guide here for the, the clipper work. Use the guide from here to cut to at the crown. So there's my guide there, okay? I'm just going to drop it down a bit at the back, so we want to still maintain some crown. Dropping my fingertips 
on an angle, so we're maintaining the length up here. Goes longer, and then gets shorter just by the shape of my fingers there. So essentially what we're doing is we're keeping the crown longer and getting shorter as we get close to the head. Our final section. Perfect. So now we've got a guide of where our clippers need to go to as well. So what we'll do, we've got our guide in place. I'm going to texturize the top now while it's wet. So going across, using the point of the blade and just sliding right through. Just separating that hair slightly, not perfectly. Bring it across to one side. I'm going to raise it this way. Bring it across this way. So again, we're cutting it in loads of different ways. So we break that up, slide right over. Again, we're leaving out the fringe for now. Use this down and bring it all over and raise it across. Now, I'm going to use a bit of salt spray to dry it through with. And you start to see the shape really come into life. I'm going to dry it all the way out like this. Again, just working through like that. You see, you could have salt spray. All that movement, all that texture in there. So what we'll do at the very end, we'll break that fringe up a bit more so it's not as blunt. But I'll do the fade first so I can match it up to the fringe. So, start at the back. I'm going to remove all this length first so I can move the mask off his ears and put it around his neck as well. On my number two, I'm going to work up and off to my guideline there. I'm just going to move your mask down as well, just so we can get around the ears, all right? I'll blend the two in first, and then I'll work on the fade. Lift that up, elevate it, see the guide underneath, and work down into the two. And just work over as well. Start from sticking out. Transition that blend a bit smoother. So the two is blended in to the top now. So what we'll do, we're gonna break up this blend after we've done our skin fade. So I'm gonna put my line in with my zero now. So start on the right hand side, just about here. the temple. So the more detail you put through the temple, especially when you're working down to skin, it shows off the darkness of the two, but it'll just make that fade really, really pop out. So we're just working the mini clippers up into the zero line. Shoot the temple again. And now we'll move on to our shaver. Let's go right down to the wood.
And I'm starting with our 0.5, so our open guard, our open blade, sorry, and there's no guard on it. We're gonna work up to here, just where the, the angle of the temple works down there. And put our half line in. I'm gonna flick out at the same time, so I wanna stretch this blend out. Open off. So I'm going to work up through the lever, and the higher up I go through the lever, the lower down I come with the blend. So there's my half. I'm going to start moving one notch up and just working a little bit below that. Down to zero. There we go. Go back down to my 0 0.5, raise it up a notch. Do the same thing, nice scoop of motion. Our one and a half into our two, placing the clip ahead flat. I'm going to be using it in like a rocker motion to really work this up into our two. Do the same thing again, working on the side, and then working down through the lever to get down to one. Make it up and off into that two. Transition nicely, just working lower down the head. Same principle as the half into the zero. Down to the one. half guard on, open and just work down through it, just to over any little dark bits, just to perfect it. I was, was always taught to like, we, we never had half guards when we were starting off like back in the day, so we had to learn to fade without them. So when they came in, it was like, it was a really nice addition just to kind of make them fade even better. Now, what I'm gonna do, turn the clipper around, I'm just going from this point here, I'm going to work down. And then just go over my size five guard. There we go. Now, I'm just going to check the crown and then just finish off by breaking into that fringe as well. So pulling the crown over, come to match. Bring it across as well. And just cut into it a bit. So I only want to break this fringe up now. I'm going to do a bit of freehand slide cutting through it. Just a bit bits out. Three comb and cut into angles like that. Right, my friend, that is done. I'm just going to blast it off for you, got rid of all that loose hair, and then uh, I'll start. I'll show you what to use as well. So I'll use the, the Regal Gentleman Mac Clay because that's, again, that's the, the look that you've sort of seen. It's styled at the same one, so, and it worked for yours as well. So keep it true to the, uh, the image that you've seen as well and use the same product. Right, so this is the MAC clay. I don't know if you've ever used it before, but it's just a very dry clay, okay? Super versatile, super pliable. 
and it works for pretty much any style, right? especially this one. When you're wearing anything really heavily textured, when you use a dry product, it just brings it really out. So what you want to do is rub it through your hands, through your fingers as well, okay? And just start at the crown. Don't start at the front, just do this. Where your crown is here, just do that in a circle, just to get the coating on the crown, okay? Next thing, rub it in like a shampoo, and just leave your fringe to the last, okay? Like that. Flatten your fringe down, and then just bring it all forward, like that. And then, pick bits to stand. So if you want it to be more messy, you can. To stand out a bit more, you can. Pick bits up, show off the corners being a bit longer, you can do. Break that fringe up a bit more if you want. But I tried to cut it so it did look good without anything in. But this is just really broken it up, you know what I mean? There we go, buddy. Nice. Takes a crop with the skin fade. Happy? Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you. That's a wicked transformation. That look, I, was not, I was not expecting you to say that when you came in, you know. I thought you'd be like wanting like a quiff or something like that, you know what I mean? Or something like maybe a side part or something. But this has just been a wicked transformation, this, man. There we go. All done. So, to recap, we um, obviously when Joe sat down, he had quite long hair, very overgrown. Uh, how many months was it? The whole of lockdown. The whole of lockdown, yeah, okay. So, obviously, quite a, a lot of growth in there. So, he'd seen one of the videos of our, uh, our crop fringe with the skin fade, and he thought, you know what? Why not try that? And I think he picked a really good haircut for himself. What we've done was we tried to, obviously try to tailor it to, to Joe. So when we've done the first video we did together, which was the skin, the skin fade and the crop on Luke, the guy with the ginger hair, it was very blunt on the fringe and it was a lot longer as well. But like Joe said, you know, he didn't want it too, too short, or too long. So we just done a smack bang in the middle of the forehead. But don't forget, as you watch the start of the video, we left it a little bit longer and as it dried up and got textured, it went a bit shorter. So just remember that. And then through the top, I left a bit more length through here. I left a corner a bit higher because I think for Joe's shape of face as well, I think if you go too high here and too sort of too round, it might not work very well. So we kept it quite square for him on the sides. So we left the corners in. Um, then we went down to the skin, worked through the lever, worked through the guards to get that blend. And then we finished off with some Riga Gentleman Mac Clay. And that's it. I'm very happy with that, mate. It looks awesome. Thank you, man. So, Ruby, what are we doing, mate? What is the what is the transformation? Yeah, for me, it was obviously seeing the video you did um, about the sort of extraction here. Okay. Of Chris Hemsworth Scott. Brilliant. Really enjoyed that video. Yeah, yeah. Um, I massively need a haircut of any yeah, shape yeah. or form. I think that was probably <laughs> the style I'd quite like. Okay. In yeah. The sense of I could get away with wearing that and work. yeah, yeah, you definitely. Know, it's a really product. flexible haircut, believe, exactly. believe it or not. Yeah. And then yeah, need yeah. That. I need that sort of flexibility for you know when I'm on cam yeah, camera. Yeah, when yeah. Zoom calls for work. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, all right, and that's yeah, yeah. and you can play about with it when it's the weekend. Cool. And stuff. Yeah, definitely. So